Hey guys, it's Head Over Heels coming at you from the Sinister Manor. Playing as a mystic this time around, so I've been I haven't actually played this at all. Well I played it, but it's not on my videos yet, so we're using my mystic to get through this one this time. Kind of skipped it with my priest. I figured it was easy enough, but I'll do it anyway with the mystic. Just for shits and giggles, it's uh, more of a fun run than anything else. So, if you see anything that you think I'm doing wrong, well, please let me know in the comments. But, I'm pretty sure this is easy enough to where I don't think I'll make any mistakes, or many at all, honestly. Alright. Well, this is just mobs, so if you want to go ahead and just, like, skip to any of the boss fights, you can go ahead and can. If not, then enjoy the ride. Because we're playing with uh, <laughs> three ninjas and a brawler. So this is going to be some interesting stuff. Alright. Honestly, the, my favorite part about playing as a mystic is the ability to DPS as well as uh, heal. Being able to drop moats and teleport is also a big factor in survivability. So it's kind of fun. Um, I don't know what these guys are doing. Tanks are just standing around. Okie dokie. Come on. Let's get a move on. Stop lollygagging. Oh, looks like this ninja wants to see something over here. I don't even know what they're doing. But, alright. Always make sure to have uh, your, um, your auras on. I, you you want to use Swift when you're running around, and when you're in a fight, you'd probably want to use uh, Core of the Merciless just to get it out of the way to finish the fight and increase DPS. So, easy peasy, am I right? Alright, come on, man. We gotta get a move on. We're already way fucking behind. Get your ninja booty on the move. Yeah, they, there's a MP cost for using it. It's like 30 MP every couple of seconds. But honestly, it's not even recognizable most of the time. So you can usually just ignore it, or if it helps, you can get like uh, gear that will give you MP per second, which will completely negate the effect that uh, spell has. Let's grab all the feeds. I need that for an uh, upgrading. I don't know why these people skip it. It's nice stuff. What are you doing? All right. Okie dokie. What's this? I got mail. Minor battle solutions. Fantastic. Need those. Let's use one. Those are basically your charms now. They'll increase your attack, your critical, critical attack speed. Stuff like that. Ah, the good old days of charms and fires. I guess they got rid of them because it's easier just to go ahead and use one and then be done with it. Uh, these guys are taking a bit longer. And someone's getting an ass beaten. Oh, my sweet lordy. I'm a coming. Don't die. Whew, experience, experience. Give me that experience. Come here. Come on. Gonna get you some HP. Wow, okay. This guy's pretty easy. Uh, well, usually. If the tank's any good, they'll keep him in that small little room, but I guess he's not that good. So I'm gonna activate my power, my uh, Oral the Merciless to increase attack power, summon my oh, Thrall of Vengeance, and go to fucking town. Get out of that, that hurts. If they don't kill him in time, they're gonna be in a lot of pain. Oh, how about that shit? Fucking rocking, nice. All right, that's how you do it. Easy. Well, sometimes, sometimes uh, if you have a shitty group who isn't all above level 26, shit. Yeah, like half of them are. Well, not half, but like two of them are 31, so they're doing massive amounts of damage. Whoo. 
Let's see here. Oh, never mind. They're already over there. I'm gonna try to drop some moats, but I see how it is. At least the tank's nice enough to wait. Impatient scrub ass bitches. Ah, I love it when people just run ahead. Oh well, I gotta teleport with this one. I wish I'd just pull more. Wait for the tank and get get all of them. No, that'd be the easier way. Instead of Oh my god, this is taking forever. Why are we just doing this one at a time when we can just pull the whole room? Come on guys, get a fucking move on. Uh, I'd sit here and talk about new skills we got before now, but uh, there's no new skills that I haven't talked about before. Come on, guys. Andale, andale. Move it, move it. Go, go, go. Ooh, that nice. That's a, see, that, that's what all the merciless does. Gives you an increase of attack power and attack speed, which is great. Definitely helps in the fight. Attack speed's always my one of my favorite stats because it just lets you attack at rapid speeds, like the damn flash. Just attack them like Goku or just, yeah, just Super Saiyan the ass. Like I've seen, I've seen warriors with attack boosts and they just go fucking ham, dude. Like, they go crazy. They fuck shit up hard in PvP. Alrighty, get these fuckers out of my way. Ooh, boy. Someone got something. Oh, I missed. Okay, I guess I can't get rid of that effect. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. I was trying to get rid of that debuff. Took a while, but... Who's taking hits? Ooh, tank is. There you go. Take those yummy, yummy modes. Yum, 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 yum. Give me that. Nice. Alkahes. Yeah, boy. Oh, shit, son. Yes, level up. Fan amazing. Fantastic amazing. There we go. Woohoo. All right. On to the next one. I got skills, so I need to get these out of the way quickly. I'll look into these glyphs later. I'll go over it before I leave because this looks like it's gonna be a quick run. Ooh, that that tank is taking a beat, and that must have been. Uh, see, that's another thing to watch out for. This guy will use a debuff on you. That after a certain period of time will put you near death, which is a huge issue because he's kind of a dick. All right, well, let's just pick up all those nice feed stock and alcohes. Cause good lordy, we know we need it. Okay, okay. Moving on. That was the first, or well, I guess, second boss? The raccoon, undead raccoon guy, I don't really classify him as a a boss. He's more of a mini-boss, I guess, sub-boss, whatever you guys want to say. Not really a problem. It's kind of easy, doesn't take long. Oh, hey, look, completed the quest. Yay! Bitch. That's the best part, I can heal myself with those little moats. Ooh, these guys are just racing. Speed racer! And they're getting an ass beaten. Come on, ladies. Let's get their shit together. Let's increase the run, run speed here. Well, it doesn't matter because we're going to be fighting the whole way. Okay, let's not deal with the blade guys like you're supposed to. Look, look at that shit, they're, they're almost killing me here. And we got two people still walking behind, look at these two, they're acting like they're the fucking runners of the show. This is gonna be a disaster if the other, the other two don't catch up. I think the other two are doing, uh, 
They might be doing that mission where you escort the chick. So that's why they're moving so slow, it makes sense. Alright, let's just grab me some feed stock. Yum, 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 yum. Someone said something in the park chat. Hold on. What did they say? Are you just Oh. <laughs> she vanished. That would have been funny. <laughs> That's so funny. There has been instances where that has happened. And it is some funny shit. Oh, what the fuck? Someone died. That's bad. Why is this ninja just sitting there fucking around? What the piss? Okay, do something, little pointy guy. Okay, fine. Let's play this hard way. Dick. Okay, she got him off my back. Now, resurrection time. There we go. We're all good. Wait, looks like we got everyone caught up. Take the moat, eat it, you yummy bastard. Come on now. Whew. Tell you what, this is a lot more work than the <laughs> priest is when it comes to actually healing. Can't put down my restore to burst. All I got is my little motes of power. Holy piss, he was about to try to hit me and he's just like, nah. Get the fuck down, my friend. You are not welcome here. I don't need resurrection scrolls. What the fuck? I'm a healer. What do you think I am? A tank? go. Is everybody here? Looks like it. Why are we sitting around? Let's do this shit. Oh, that might have been some lag. That sucked. Okie dokie. This boss is a fun one. I really, really got to keep my toes with this one. I'm gonna drop some moats around so. Wow! If you move, you get canceled and it gets to cool down. Don't move when you're casting the moats. Got some time to put some stuff down, so. Let me throw down my little. Did it not go through? Oh, there he is! Yep, just keep dropping moats. When the fight lasts this long, you want to keep the, mo the moats going. But it doesn't look like this fight's going to last very long. Yep, that's what I thought. We are done with this bitch! Yeah! Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, that was more like a walkthrough than an actual guide. So I'm sorry if you didn't learn anything about playing this class. Well, actually, maybe I can teach you a few things. Since uh, we're done, doesn't look like these people are going to take long. So as in terms of uh, healing, what you want to do is you want to go for... Uh, where is it? Ah, right, here we go. Uh, you probably won't need that, I guess, if you want to drop some mana stuff down. That might help. But... If I have to say where to put your points, mostly I would say either uh, you want to put it in our uns cleansing touch, which you can get multiple targets. Uh, maybe uh, corruption ring, I guess, if you want to, you know, get take less damage while you're trying to cast it. But I really suggest putting a lot of points into your resurrect. If you aren't, if you're still a beginner and you have problems keeping up with uh, the DPS and you need to resurrect them often. I really suggest putting almost all your glyph points into that. 
because you want to reduce your cast speed. You want to increase the cast. You, yeah, yeah, reduce the casting. You want to. Oh shit! Well, I only had enough for hasting resurrect. You can reduce the MP cost. So if you if you don't have enough points for all of them, the MP cost is one I really suggest doing first. Uh, either MP cost or cooldown. Get rid of that cooldown. You want to because the cast because the resurrection cooldown is uh, around 20 seconds. So I guess it's not that bad, but I guess during a boss fight that can be crucial. So if you want to knock it down by 50 percent. You're probably looking at a good uh, 15 seconds, or yeah, around 15 seconds instead of 20. So it's in a fight against bosses later in end game. The that's actually a really, really huge help because every second matters. All right, well that's pretty much all that's going on for this video. I hope you learned something or at least had some fun watching. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. See you in my next video. Peace out.